Welcome to this Excel video. I haven't done one for a while, I'm sorry, but uh, yesterday I had a colleague at work come to ask me how he could chart six different measures for, uh, this is a, a medical practitioner, six different measures for one of his patients. And so I simply tried to present him with a few different options. So um, they're all independent measures, which means there's no you know, definitive way to, to put them on a chart. So a simple column chart was an easy option. Um, on its own it already looks okay, but you can tidy things up quite a lot by um, just making a few of the default settings a bit more customized. I tend to do these things just automatically now. Lighter grid lines, less divisions on the axis, and uh, in this particular case, probably a slightly more interesting color, let's say black, and something like a data label never does any harm either. I find if you do a data label, you can often get rid of that access point because it's not necessary anymore. All right, so that was one option. I'm just going to copy that, put it underneath go up into design because I've got a chart selector this extra little chart tools menu is available and I just want to choose a bar chart so I just want to get rid of those and format the data labels to include the category name and put it inside let's say the, the end And if I just make the text white, that can be quite helpful. If I format the data series, you can make the gap smaller. And what that does is it makes the thickness of the bar greater and therefore the, the text a bit easier to read. So that's not a bad option. That's quite a clean one because it doesn't have any axes at all. Now, because they're all, I guess, criteria, what medical people often do is they use each of these tests to identify whether someone's ready for the next stage of rehabilitation. So what I decided to do was something that I've already done once before in a video, video number eight, which was about uh, color coding these bars depending on their value. So. I'm just going to do that again quickly now. So basically what that means is I have to turn the single series here that you see, six numbers, into three different series. And so one series will be all the values that fall into this category between 0 and 50. The next series will be the values that fall in between these two. And the green series will be everything that's above or equal to 70. So I'm just going to write a little if equation. I'm not going to dwell on this too long because I did this in video number 8 and you can check that out if you want to. But basically what it's saying is if this number is both greater than or equal to 0 and less than 50, then I want it to be in this particular category, otherwise I want an NA. And if I drag that down, what it should do is just show the last two numbers, which is what it's done, which is great. I'm just going to do that again, equals if this number is greater than or equal to 50. Excuse me, I left the and out. And this number is less than 70. That looks okay. If I drag that down, there should be a couple that identify themselves. This one's a little bit easier. 
is only a single criteria. Excuse me. I think the text is white still. Equals if this number is greater than or equal to that criteria. Perfect. All right, so now if I chart this, I'll do both the same charts as I did previously. Something that we have to do is go into the format chart series and have them 100% overlap. And that will automatically thicken up the, the bars. And if I reduce that gap, to about there. Looks a little bit better. So previously I used a fixed axis so that there was less grid lines. Make the grid lines a bit lighter or as light as possible. Add data labels doesn't always work out in this particular method because there's actually three series at once. So what I'm just going to do is just go back to having those axis headings. Now I'll get rid of that. What I want to make sure of is the right ones are green, orange and red and that the right colors are there. So we need this particular series to be Red. This particular series to be orange, and that green I've always found a little bit unspectacular, so I'm going to choose one that's a little bit darker. So there we are. That one looks okay. If I copy paste change it to a bar similar to before I need to have it 100% overlapped and you can do that inside the format data series sub menu so the right click menu that can be quite useful and what uh, what I'll just try out down here is I'll change one of these numbers from 25 to 60 and that changes successfully and I'll change it to 90 and that changes as well. Excellent. Alright, so those uh, particular options were all okay. I think the colors can be quite useful if you're showing this to a particular client and uh, doesn't make things look too bad. So I saw this in the podcast from Mr. Excel, podcast 1652, if you want to go and check it out. And it was quite a neat little panel chart. And so I'm going to draw three of them for you today. And what it consists of is making 100 uh, little squares. So we've got this particular category at the moment. And what I want to do is just have each cell count up to 100. So if I pull that across and I pull that up. should count me all the way up to 100. Now I'm just going to go up into the format text option and put shrink to fit and that worked. Alright so at the moment we've got 100 small numbers in a cell and now I want to make it by default grey background with grey text and that kind of makes it invisible. 
And with all of those hundred cells selected, I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, Format cells that contain a cell value less than or equal to this cell. I'm going to make the format black font, black shading. And now what we see here is a little panel chart. And if I put a little border on, it's just going to make it look slightly more conspicuous. So there we go. Interesting little panel chart. And if I copy that, So what we can find is that you can make a, a quite nice looking um, little dashboard and you can make the size of it and shape of it however you like. And one thing you can do that's even better is to turn the uh, grid lines off. And then these, these scores actually look quite reasonable. And therefore, you know, you can obviously add the last two and, and make a, an interesting little dashboard chart that um, provides just something nice visually. So there we go, a few little opportunities um, to impress colleagues, a couple of different graph options, um, small customizations to very simple charts can make quite a big difference. So thanks for coming past again. I will be trying to add a few new videos in the next week for you. Thanks.